Get ready for Solomon's Hey, giving the glory to God Yeah, you're hanging with Jason and Sean Get ready for Solomon's Anyway, uh, so we are going to be doing our round five worship songs uh, brought to you by True Strength Apparel. Shout out to True Strength. And uh, so this week, um, again, we have with us Laura Ray from the Invasion Movement Tour. For some reason, I can't say that fast. I don't know why. <laughs> Every it's time a, I try to say it fast, I'm yeah. like, wait. It's a little bit of a tongue off, twister. Yeah. Yeah, uh, right. So yeah, but um, so for this, we're going to do our round five worship songs uh, because... Our friend here is a praise and worship leader, singer. Hallelujah. And so we wanted to get ahead and just do that. We haven't done it before. And uh, so this is... Which seems odd. Yeah, yeah. I mean, last week we did our uh, the verses, Bible verses, which seemed odd we hadn't done that. So yeah, we're doing all of our Christian heavy stuff right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, um, right. so yeah, we're going to let our guest Laura start first with her number five choice. All right. So praise the Lord. Um, <laughs> uh, def- okay. So a uh, number five for me would have to be uh, Overcome by Jeremy Camp. Okay. Okay. Right okay. That's and just one. to give you all a heads up, um, you're going to get a variety of genres with me. That's because good. I listen to all types of praise and worship uh, right. genres. So yeah. Uh, Overcome Jeremy Camp is my five. Definitely. My number one is not even from a worship anything. Okay. It's from a rock band. Oh. So. So, I thought uh, you said this was praise and worship. <laughs> it is, it is, but this song is a praise and worship song. Okay, uh, so okay. Sean number five. Oh, see, look, now I'd have to revamp my entire Sean number five. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Okay, well, I, I kept with traditional kinds of stuff. So. Well, we have the same number five, so let's just share it. All right, all right. Uh, I'll come to the altar. Yeah, Ooh, by elevation. Good one. Elevation good one. Good one. Yeah. Good one. Yeah, and I actually, and, and one of my favorites is because I actually play it in our Bible study. Yeah, so. and and. I, I and because you sing it and, and you have a beautiful voice. I do have a beautiful voice. All right. Yes, it, it is. Uh, That's why we never let it play on the show. Yeah. It's, it's a joyful noise into the Lord. Oh <laughs> to the Lord. Lord. To the Lord. Lord. You got to put that T on the end. The All right. Number, to be Oli. <laughs> number four. Number four. <laughs> to you, Miss Lord. Oh, to me. It's already yeah, back four. to me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, we have the same. And usually what happens is if we have the same thing on our list, Normally, I'll just put mine in the same slot as him so we can go ahead and knock it out quicker. So, Okay. So number four for me will have to be Tremble by Mosaic. That's on my playlist. Is it on That's your on playlist? playlist. Okay. Yeah. It's not it kinda, my top list. It kind of goes with the, our, uh, we actually, for our worship segments of the Invasions, have done that. Um, it, so it kind of goes with our Invasion movement, and it's kind of close to my heart right now. So number That's four, good. Tremble. I like yeah. that one. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, one thing remains by Jesus Culture. Okay. I, again, this is just all the stuff that's been on my playlist lately, and it, they're kind of current for the most part. Um, so I love Dylan Chase's um, his take on it when yeah. he did the rap with it. Yeah, that was nice. So uh, my number four is "Fade Away" by Passion. Uh, I hadn't actually heard of that until they played it at church one week. I actually, no, the first time I heard it was whenever I was going to try it for the praise team and they were practicing it and I was like, I really like this song. Yeah. And um but I ended up choosing not to to join the praise team or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I, I really enjoy the song. The, I'd say the only thing is like I like the song before the very, 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 very tag in they go to like this really old school sound. And I'm not a huge fan of that old school sound, mm-hmm. but the main song I really enjoy. And mm-hmm. uh the version I'm thinking about is from Passion. So I don't know, maybe they'll play it at Winter Jam. That'd be nice. If they're well, in our city. Yeah, passion, passion, <laughs> passion isn't coming to Raleigh. Ah, uh, the, that's not we cool. We get the Hillsong youth. And by the way, if if anybody watches this and y'all say, oh, y'all ain't real Christians because of these bands I have on your list, you know what? <laughs> just just go on somewhere. Uh, all right, so number three. Ms. Number Laura. three, already back to me, the pressure. Uh, okay, so I probably... Ugh, I'm probably gonna have to go with Cornerstone Hillsong Live. Okay. Cornerstone. Y'all That's can tell I'm straight up a praise and worship leader, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm not a praise and worship leader, but uh, I'm about to mix up the genres here in a second, though. I'm, I'm gonna surprise y'all with these last two. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Sean, number three. Uh, give me faith. Good one. Uh, elevation worship. Yeah. Is it because I play it? Um. 
It well, is. It is. It, it's it not is. because you play it, but <laughs> you know we do worship to it, uh, and it you know I'm. It makes it's, sense because one week I didn't know what to play, and you 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 kind of put this out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it's definitely up there. It, it's near and dear to my heart. Awesome, awesome. Uh, my number three is being throned. Uh, Bethany Music and Jeremy Camp. All right. Jeremy Riddle. Jeremy Riddle. Oop. Not Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Same difference, right? They're both Germans. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that they'd appreciate that. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, it's a good one, man. M- most of my worship songs are usually the slower ones. Um, there's a lot of praise and worship that's fast and upbeat. But generally, if I listen to worship, it's always slow. And this is one of those I could just kind of chill and relax to. So, number two. All right. I'm about to uh, test y'all's uh, knowledge of gospel music slash praise and worship, however you want to label it. So this is an oldie but a goodie, um, Blood Medley by Donnie McClurkin. It is on his Psalms, hymns, and... <laughs> okay, please Sean tell... Sean got, the, he please, got the Holy Spirit. Glass. Wait a minute. Please tell me y'all know who Donnie McClurkin is. I, I've heard okay. his name. Okay, so it's on his Psalms, <laughs> hymns, and spiritual songs project. And it's actually... Three, uh, it's a part one, part two, and part three, but it's all labeled the blood medley. Right. And so he just like goes down the lines of historical songs from the church that talk about the blood of Jesus. And if that don't light your fire, you might right? you might want to <laughs> check your wood. Right. Yes, blood medley, Donnie McClurkin. I'm oh. gonna have to listen to it. Oh, I'm, cool. to I'm listen looking to it up it. right now. Please do. I'll just... Now it's it's playlist. very gospelly, traditional gospel. Yeah, right. Um, and and again, it, he does medleys of like all the songs throughout the history of the church that talk about the blood is so powerful. Well, see, so. that's what Sean was wanting from Kanye. That's what you were wanting from yeah. Kanye. Okay. But, but so now you get it from Donnie. <laughs> oh, McCur- I promise McCur- you McCur- that will uh, that will oh, give it oh, to oh, you right well, there. I mean, <laughs> that that right there will give it to you. All right, yes. Sean, you're number two. I'm totally in. I'm, I'm sorry, I was still looking at Donnie. <laughs> uh, Oceans by Hillsong United. I, it, you know the only the only real problem there is that it seems like it's so played out. Right, right. Um, but you know, I think we finally got to the, this point where it's 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 past that point. So it, I've reintegrated it into my playlist, and I can get back to where I can enjoy it. I, I can just sing it and be lost in it. Um, you know, if, if I'm going out for my morning walk, I, I love to put that song in and just you know. It, it's probably this and my number one song are the two songs that I feel, always feel like, uh, especially if I'm outside, that I can really worship and, and commune with yeah. God on. Yeah. And so that that's why it's it's definitely up there. I think Oceans, people are going to be singing Oceans if the oh, Lord yeah. tarries yeah. <laughs> in 50 years. Yeah, people are yeah. going to still be singing Oceans. So it's just that powerful. See, I really enjoy that song, but I'd say my, I, I really loved what Dream Junkies did with it. Like I mean, like KB did it as well. He did a song, kind of sampling right. the, the worship stuff. But uh, Dream Junkies to me kind of did the best in that realm, and that's really what got me liking the song. But uh, I really do enjoy the song. You know, it's nine minutes long, but it's 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 worth every minute. Uh, my number two is How He Loves David Crowder Band. Oh, I've been definitely. playing that. Like oh crazy yeah, lately. that's another one we're gonna be singing in fifty years. I uh, just Still. I was playing it last <laughs> night, and uh, I play it every or every like every night before um, we do Bible study. I do it before everybody gets here. It just kind of gets me, yeah, motivated yeah. and kind of warmed up. Or whatever. I don't think you can sing that song and not feel something. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm that way with uh, more from <laughs> yeah, um, uh, Matt. Um, yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Matt Matthew West. Yeah, it's it's yeah. like if, if if I'm singing that song, there's always something, and it might not yeah. be the same thing, but there's always yeah. something that comes up, and you go, <gasps> yeah, the words can't right, quite right. leave your mouth anymore. Yes, uh, the simplicity of it. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. So wow. number one, shake us up. So number one for me, drum roll, my fake drum roll, <laughs> <laughs> um, is going to come from the latest project from William McDowell called The Cry, A Live Worship Experience, and track number 15, titled Nothing Like Your Presence, featuring Travis Green. Um, it is 14 minutes long. Right on. Um, but it, this is a live project, right. and I, let me tell y'all something. Do not play with this song, because... <laughs> It will take you all the way to the throne and back. (laughs) Um, So basically, it kind of starts out more of like a soft worship and it builds and they go into outer space with this thing and then they bring it back down to. 
Mm. It will bless every fiber of your being. Travis Green is he's <laughs> Travis Green is redonkulous and <laughs> and um yeah so nothing like your presence um it will bless you all to pieces in general i'm a much bigger fan i don't like studio worship music i only like yeah. live worship music. i agree live a live project has an element that yeah. it's just hard to not love it feels free you know to me yeah. it feels much more free it feels like if you're in the studio doing it yeah. i don't i don't know if they have the it's, same freedom it's organic yeah yes. exactly exactly and it's you know what i've heard some artists do live projects and sound amazing and it be the whole project is ridiculous right and then i've heard them do like a studio and i'm like eh. it's not the same yeah so the live it's has something produced. i don't know what I, I don't know if it's the ability for you just to flow and kind of just follow the leading of the Holy Spirit versus a studio where it's like, all right, you have three minutes on this track. You know what I mean? But I agree. agree. Alive is just. I I think for me, the the only sort of exception to that would be David Crowder's stuff. Um, But I will say that with my number one, which happens to be David Crowder band, um, this track is especially special to me, and I've mentioned it before on other lists for other things. Uh, Open Skies, and because one of the first times that I heard it, I was uh, watching them perform live, and we were at an outside event. It was Cornerstone Festival here in North Carolina, okay. and uh, and it just it, it, it blew my mind. It was a wonderful worship experience at that moment. Wow. And, and so, you know, to say that they were... Performing is not even accurate, you know, because it was a worship experience wow. and we were That's literally awesome. under open skies. That's and awesome. So, you know, it's even though it's it's definitely a studio track, it it to me still takes you back outside, still gives you that organic feel. To right. So, awesome. That's my number one. Awesome. Your number one, open skies. Yep. My number one is Pieces by Red. Okay. That hits almost Ooh. every single one of my my Ooh. list. My favorite rock song, Ooh. everything. Okay. Uh, okay. It's just <laughs> it's, 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 I, it's I I could have given you any number of rock, <laughs> hard rock, metal, worship <laughs> songs. Yeah. You're just mad because I picked a rock band for my number. <laughs> I, I am because I thought we were doing praise and worship. I didn't say worship, worship band uh, music. I said worship songs. Yeah, okay. Technically. I would have. I mean, yeah, I could have picked "Tell yeah, the World" yeah, by Lecrae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I right. could have picked that. Yeah, uh, anyway, yeah. that's our. Oh, see, round I didn't five. know we could include CHH. I might would have changed my list. No, I'm just kidding. See, see, this one's well, I, I did have a couple honorable mentions: "Unfailing oh, yeah, yeah. Love" by Chris Tomlin and Stephen Curtis Chapman, um, and "Let the Praise Begin" by Fred Hammond. Oh, that's a classic for Christ. Oh yeah. Uh, to me, the bass on that is just awesome, and and that definitely has a live track. Is oh yeah, it's better. Uh, that whole Fred project. So yeah, 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 that whole project. And Spirit of David, don't get me started on Fred. Yeah, Fred is stuff. a general in yeah, the gospel music I mean, field. Now, but yeah. So for me, I'd say I have uh, actually have three by Elevation Worship, uh, Unstoppable God, Give Me Faith. Yeah. Well, no, it's just two. And then uh, this is kind of a corny one. Uh, it is corny. <laughs> everything by Lifehouse. <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> is, is, is that because you you did that stick? It is it's not a stick. Drama. It's not a stick one. It's a real live person. Okay, one. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's that's exactly drama. why. That's yeah. exactly why. And it's because every time I hear the song, yeah. and I hear that part, and every time I hear the song, I see the skit. Right. So that skit you. made the song for me. Yeah, I get it. I don't know if it'd be the same if I had never seen the skit. So, uh, Lifehouse, y'all need to send whatever type of a thank you to that <laughs> incredible video that surfaced on YouTube years ago. Of that uh, youth group doing that Back skit. when YouTube first started. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Oh. It was incredible. So uh, so that's mine. You got any... I still uh, love that. Any c- couple of honorable mentions? Honorable mentions. I okay, so <laughs> I am a praise and worship connoisseur. Right. So... Yeah. If you start asking me honorable, which I might give you 10 or 20. Okay. Nah, give um, us two more. Give us two more. <laughs> two more. Uh, that's really been in my spirit lately. Yeah. Is that what you're asking? Okay. Sure. Um, well. Jesus is Lord by Kanye. Oh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> but why is it so catchy, though? Like, there is, I'm telling you, there is a sound coming off that song, and it's so simple. Yeah. But there's something about that song, and it's like, I don't know, maybe it's the reminder of. All you need to do is release his name into the atmosphere and let it do its work. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I don't know if that's the appeal or what, but Could be. I, I would have to say that. You you were joking, but you, you're right. 